Hello guys today we will discuss what is ELISA its advantages and disadvantages and its different types so let's get started ELISA stands for enzyme linked immunosorbent assay and it is a method of choice for the detection of antigen or antibodies so here a question arises why it is named so we can see in the name itself its enzyme enzyme is used to label one of the component of the immunoassay and the second name immunosorbent which is an absorbing material which specifically absorbs the antigen or antibody present in the patient serum So now why we use ELISA over other diagnostic kits It is preferred because it is economical we can run up to 90 samples at a time of 2 to 3 hours it is more sensitive than rapid diagnostic kits and even a small volume like 10 microliter is used to detect antigen or antibody which is present in the patient serum The limitations or disadvantage of using ELISA are it takes 2 to 3 hours while a rapid diagnostic kit takes 10 to 20 minutes to give the result. If the plasma contains substance like sodium azide, it inhibits the activity of enzyme used in ELISA reaction. It needs expensive equipments like ELISA washer and to maintain it we need a trained staff. Now coming to the types of ELISA, it can be direct indirect sandwich or competitive now a days commercial kits are based on sandwich elisa technique so let's discuss one by one in the direct elisa micro titer wells are not pre coated with antigen or antibodies test serum containing antigen is added to wells and it becomes attached to the well plate by passive adsorption after this primary antibody labeled with the enzyme is added and then substrate chromogen system is being added here the color development is directly proportional to the antigen present in the patient serum in the indirect elisa micro titer well plate are pre coated with the antigens here secondary antibody is labeled with enzyme instead of the primary antibody test serum containing primary antibodies which are specific to the antigen is added to the wells then after washing enzyme labeled secondary antibodies are added and then substrate chromogen system is being added here also color development is directly proportional to the antigen present in the test serum now coming to the sandwich elisa it is named so because the antigen is sandwiched between the capture antibody and the detector antibody direct sandwich elisa uses detector antibody as primary antibody labeled with the enzyme then substrate chromogen system is added for color development here color is directly proportional to the antigen present in the serum the basic difference between indirect and direct sandwich elisa in indirect sandwich elisa enzyme is labeled with secondary antibody and the last step is the addition of substrate chromogen system here also color development is directly proportional to the antigen present in the patient serum sandwich elisa is preferred because it has higher sensitivity than other tests In dengue elisa direct sandwich elisa technique is used for dengue and S1 antigen detection and indirect sandwich elisa also known as double sandwich elisa is used for dengue IgG IgM antibody detection In competitive elisa primary antibody and patient serum containing antigen is incubated separately and then antigen antibody complex is then added to the micro titer well plate here the wells are pre coated with the same type of antigen and hence antigen in the serum competes with the another antigen of the same type coated on the well to bind primary antibody and the rest steps are same here the major difference comes in the result part 
where the color development is inversely proportional to the amount of antigen present in the serum whereas in all the other test of elisa it was directly proportional to the antigen present thank you guys please like share and subscribe to this channel take care